All right, let's take a look at Unit 4, Lesson 10, Interpreting and Writing Logarithmic Equations. Um, so 10.1, we're looking at logarithm, logarithms with different bases. So the expression log base 10 of 1,000 equals 3, or is 3, um, and it tells you how to read that. Uh, it can be interpreted as the exponent to which we raise a base 10 to get 1,000 is 3, so um, let's take a look at uh, these different equations and um, interpret what they mean. So again, it's a log, this first one is log base 10 of 100 million is eight. Um, and so what does that mean? That means that the exponent is eight with a base of 10. So 10 to the eighth is equal to 100 million. All right, the next one, log base 10 of one is zero. So the base is 10, the exponent is zero, and it equals one. Log base two of 16 is four. So the base is two, the exponent is four, and it equals 16. And then log base five of 25 equals two. So five with an exponent of two equals 25. All right, let's take a look at the next part. We have our table, and last time we looked at a table that had log base 10, and now we're looking at log base two. Um, and so we are going to use the table to find the exact or approximate value of each expression. Then we're going to explain what each expression um, and its approximated values mean. All right, so log base two of two um, so that means that we're plugging this 2 in right here, this 2 in, for x. And so we're looking for where x is 2, and that is right here. So that equals 1. So what that means is that 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Log base 2 of 32. So 32 is our x value. So we're looking for where x is 32, and so that equals 5. So that means our base is 2, our exponent is 5, and it equals 32. So 2 to the 5th is 32. If you ever end up with a statement that isn't true, and you can check this with a calculator, then you've done something wrong. So you can go back and check, well, is my base in the right place? Is my exponent coming from the right number in the equation? Um, does it equal what it's supposed to equal? And so, so look at your numbers again to see... Uh, did you put them in the right place? All right, so again, log base 2. And remember, when we say base 2, that means that's the big number that's being raised to a power um, of 15. So that's got to equal 15. And so we need to figure out what is our exponent. Well, x in our table is 15. So that's right here. So that's 3.9069. So that is your exponent. And then the last one, um, log base 2. Again, so the base is your number being raised to a power. Log base 2 of, so that means it equals 40. And we've got to figure out what the exponent is. So we find 40 on our table, and we get 5.3219. So that is our exponent. All right, number 2. Solve each equation, write the solution as a logarithmic expression. So we're going to need the table for this. Um, so we know it's log base 2 because that is our big number. And it's going to be of 5 equals something. Because remember, whatever the, the 2 to the whatever power equals something, that's our x value. So we're looking for our x value, which is right here. So that is 2.321. Nine. All right, uh, let's take a look at, I'm going to use black for that one, um, 2 to the y equals 70, so log base 2 of something, no, I'm sorry, of 70 equals something, so we need to find 70, um, but we don't actually know what that number is, um, so... Um, we can just leave the expression like that. 
Um, we can look in a calculator to see, um, but we're not there yet. So we're just going to leave that as an expression. Um, and then the last one, again, it's log base 2 of 999. And we can plug this into a calculator, depending on the calculator that you have. Um, we can plug that into a calculator and uh, be able to get an approximate value. All right, so let's take a look at the next piece, 10.3, exponential and logarithmic functions. Um, so the first thing, we're, well, okay, so these equations express the same relationship between 2, 16, and 4. Um, we have log base 2 of 16 equals 4, and we have 2 to the 4th equals 16. That's just the logarithmic form and the exponential form. So each row shows two equations that express the same relationship, complete the table. So in part A, um, we have the exponential form. So we know it's log base 2, because remember, whatever we're raising to a power is our base, um, of whatever it equaled, so of 2, equals whatever that exponent was. <clears throat> All right, so for the second one, we have log base 10 of 1 equals 0. All right, in part C, our base is 3. Since it equals 4, that's our exponent. And then we're taking the log of 81, so that's what 3 to the 4th equals. And then uh, log base 5, so 5 is our base. Uh, 0 is our exponent, and then it equals 1. All right, uh, for E, we have log base 10 of 1 tenth, because that's what our exponential form equals, and then it's going to equal the exponent, which was negative 1. All right, in F, we have a log base 9, because that's what we're raising to a power. Um, since that exponential form equals 3, we're taking it of 3, and then it equals the exponent from the exponential form. All right, uh, let's take a look at G. So we have log base 2, so that's the base. Our exponent is what the logarithm equals, so it's to the negative 3. And then our exponential form is equal to whatever we're taking the log of, so it is 1 8. All right, uh, for H, we have log base 2, because that's what we're raising to a power, of 15, because that's what the exponential form equals. And so then this logarithmic form equals the exponent, which was Y. All right, in I, we have log base 5, so that is the base, and it equals y, so that's our exponent. And then we're taking the logarithm of 40, so that's what our exponential form equals. And then j, we have log base b of x, because that's what it equaled, equals y, because that's what the exponent, exponent was. All right, number two, write two equations one in exponential form and one in logarithmic form to represent each question. Use question mark for the unknown value. All right, so um, we don't really need the table for that, so let's make that a little bit bigger. All right, so to what exponent, so that's our variable, that's our question mark, question mark, do we raise the number 4 to get 64? So we have 4 as our base, the question mark is our exponent, and it's going to equal 64. So remember, in logarithmic form, we have log base 4, because that's what we're raising to a power, of 64, because that's what the exponential form looks like, is equal to question mark, because that's what our exponent was. All right, what is the log base 2? So let's write this in logarithmic form, log base 2 of 128 and it said, what is that? So that's going to be our question mark. So to put that into exponential form, our base was 2. It equaled question mark, so that is our exponent. And then our exponential form is going to equal what we're taking the logarithm of. So 2 to the question mark equals 128. All right, so that is looking at logarithms, the relationship between logarithmic form and exponential form. And if you want to um, go through the summary, you can take a look at that, um, and it shows you some of those pieces again, so you can just review that.